Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here from Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I got a question for you. You down with OTG? <laughs> you know me. Specifically, camping off the grid. And that's what I want to focus on today is the Keystone Cougar OTG prep package and their actual uh, off the grid solar package with inverter here. I want to show you what Cougar's doing standard, what you can get optionally, how you can expand it, the benefits of it, also what it does not do because uh, I think that there's potentially a lot of misinformation out there or some misunderstandings about what it is capable of doing or what it's not capable of doing. And those are the kind of things I wanna clear up for you today. Now what's really cool here is that every Cougar, whether it's a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, is already OTG prepped. And I wanna run you through what does OGT prepped mean and what is included with that exactly. It begins up here on the roof with a dual access port. This is where roof mounted solar panels could be plugged in. Then that roof wiring is actually run down here up into the front pass through compartment. And that black box that you see over there, you'll find something like that in every Cougar floor plane, trailer or fifth wheel. That is where a charge controller is actually going to be located or the wiring rather is at least run there. Now, in addition to that roof plug for roof mounted solar panels, every Cougar is also going to have a simple side mount solar prep plug. So if you want to park in the shade and then, uh, you know, pick up a portable panel that you can kind of string out into the sun, you can kind of chase the sun with it. Very handy, especially as the sun, you know, changes position through the sky during the day. Also, every Cougar is pre-wired for an inverter, not just a solar panel and charge controller. Cougar was one of the first to standardize and take their standard prep a little bit further by wiring at least three, if not a fourth outlet in every single floor plan uh, to the inverter wiring. Those outlets would be one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, your living room TV, and on Cougars that have a camp kitchen, a fourth inverter, uh, inverter, yep, inverted outlet uh, will be wired uh, to the camp kitchen. This is really handy uh, for folks who maybe you need a CPAP machine. If you stayed overnight somewhere, you want to sleep good so you can drive the rest of the way the next morning. Or if you need to uh, you know, wake up, make a cup of coffee. Or again, with an outside camp kitchen, there's all sorts of different appliances and things like my daughter loves a bubble machine and it's a good way to keep her occupied and exercising for a couple hours. That right there is worth its weight in gold to me. What's also great is the way Cougar thought ahead a little bit on this and they made the system compatible with single or dual batteries. So if you need uh, larger charges and extended times off grid, this is a camper that is capable from the factory level or aftermarket to potentially accommodate a lot more people than you might realize. And in the meantime, the weather went and turned on me, but thankfully we're not going to let a couple raindrops uh, stop us from doing this today. What do you get with the Cougar OTG package? Well, it starts up top with the Zamp 170 watt solar panel plugged into those dual plugs that we saw earlier. And then again, whether it's a trailer or a fifth wheel, the remainder of our equipment that we see will be located here in the front pass-through compartment. We're gonna begin with our Zamp 30 amp charge controller. Now it's flashing at me right now because I don't have the correct type of battery wired up to this thing. I'm just using my simple little portable jumper box plugged into the pigtail of the uh, RV to provide some 12 volt power there. But this is um, compatible with different types of batteries. There's a battery selector. And that is the one area that I see people kind of trip up on that is uh, you gotta make sure that you're telling it to use the right battery uh, you know, for that you have wired onto the RV basically. Then up top here, this also comes with a Xantrex 2000 watt pure sign inverter to run those outlets inside and potentially that outside camp kitchen. So now if I wanted to, I could activate that inverter and that outlet over here in the bedroom is now live powered with 110 household power. So again, if I wanted to run a fan, uh, some kind of reading light, uh, a CPAP machine, that outlet is capable of doing those things. Or I could jump over here into the kitchen where one of the kitchen outlets will now be live to 110 power, where you could run things like uh, a coffee maker, for instance, to get yourself back on the road in those early, early mornings. And you can also catch up on the news or check the local forecast because the outlet behind the TV is also wired to that inverter. So if you need to, you could fire up that big 4K jumbo drown and get your morning entertainment while you're sipping down that coffee. Now, a couple more detailed notes for you on this system. Remember up top, we've got a 170 watt roof panel. The charge controller, the wiring that comes prepped in these can actually handle one or two additional of those 170 watt ZAMP solar panels. So you could expand this up to 510 watts if you're so inclined, which is a lot of, whether it's gonna be battery tending power, extending your dry camp time, keeping things like a 12 volt refrigerator up and running longer, uh, giving you more time to run a coffee maker, a CPAP machine, things like that. It can greatly extend your dry camp capacity. 
but it's not necessarily going to run anything and everything in the RV all the time. And that's the extra kind of tidbit information that I like to include in our videos here at Halo RV. Not just, oh gosh, oh golly, oh gee, she's fantastic. Well, it is. It's a really cool package. But it is a dry camp extension package, a boondocking extension package. It's going to be very good for people who make travel stop stayovers who may have limited need for 110 household appliances where 12 volt exclusively won't necessarily get the job done for them. This is not the kind of solar where you can just park in a field and live there. It's not going to run things like the air conditioner. And understanding the difference between what it is and what it is not is sometimes just as, if not more important, I think. And what's really cool is, again, because every single Cougar travel trailer and fifth wheel is prepped and ready for this package, uh, if, if you have an RV, a Cougar RV that doesn't have that on it already, you can call us, we can get the parts from Keystone, we can get them sent to you, we could do the install for you, whatever works for you, just depending on how you want to do it. Um, we can get that 170 watt panel or expand to one or two additional panels. We can get the charge controller put in for you. When you do get it aftermarket, the inverter's not part of the base package from Zamp. That's an extra thing that we can get out there. But that also allows you some options to go out and kind of choose which inverter you want, which might be suitable for you, or build your own adventure. Maybe you don't care about an inverter. Maybe you're just looking for some extra 12 volt capacity and some battery tending. You can kind of do it however you want. So uh, however you OTG, sounds good to me. And if you appreciate information like this, even standing out here in the rain, uh, it's a nice day for a duck, but not so much for a nerd. Uh, <laughs> hit the subscribe button and follow along with us here. And when you're ready, we're ready to earn your business at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Cougar OTG camping. Yeah, nailed it, everyone.